What's up, guys? Jared here. Um, so I got a real special treat for you. Uh, it's a review of a show that I feel is kind of forgotten, even though they do have it on the Splat, which is a Nickelodeon um, sub channel that shows old shows. But uh, it's just, I think, a really underrated show, and it's The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Now, growing up as a kid, um, I loved cartoons. Like, the kids' sitcoms, um, they were okay, but some of them were just really corny. Like, I don't, I don't understand how some of these 90 kids, you know, these 90s kids, they'll defend everything 90s and 80s. There was some shit back in the 80s and 90s, too, okay? <laughs> Trust me, guys. For all of you newer millennials, it wasn't all, you know, amazing stuff, believe me. But uh, Adventures of Pete and Pete was one exception, though. This was a really awesome, you know, kids sitcom, if you want to call it that. Uh, just, I, I love the characters, uh, the plot. It was just, it was all really great. Just a silly, fun show. Uh, it's funny because I've, I've heard this show uh, coined a, a what is it like, a, a kid show for hipsters or some shit like a hipster show. Um, I can kind of see where they'd be going with that. I can kind of maybe see with some of the characters, but that doesn't bother me, man. You know, I, I wouldn't let that ruin it for me anyway, even if it was. Uh, you know, because hipsters are lame, you know, shit like that. Everyone knows that, but this cartoon, or this show was not lame, so uh, I don't really, <laughs> you know, I, I just don't let stuff like that bother me, but uh, I like the intro to the song at the beginning. It's a really cool song. The guy's actually playing my guitar here, my Gibson. Uh, just a really cool song, you know, it's just like kind of gets you in the mood to watch a cool show <laughs> I don't know but uh, it's just it's, it's a cool show man like I don't I don't really know exactly how to explain it or why it is so cool but I think it's just um, you know I, I think it's like it's funny but it's still almost kinda deep like it, it explores the life of a kid and you know the the problems they go through it, it kinda reminds me of the wonder years uh, it's even, it's narrated like the Wonder Years. It's narrated by the older brother, which I thought was really cool. Um, so that's, that's what it is. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's one of those shows that's, it's funny, but it still is, you know, there's some substance and depth to it. I say that a lot in my videos, you know, substance and depth, but, uh, that's, that's what makes it so great. And, um, it's unfortunate though, um, some of these... <laughs> Nickelodeon stars, um, you know, I research them just to see what they're up to, and it's like with with the people that played uh, Pete and Pete, those two guys. It's just like uh, some of the other stuff they've done. Let's just say it's not that really. It's really not that impressive. Um, and it's a shame because they were like really talented on this show, but then you know. It's like they don't really do a whole lot after that, and it, it is kind of sad. Um, I forget the guy's name. It's like a super Italian-sounding name. Uh, the one that played Little Pete. It's like so painfully Italian. It's uh, it'll come to me, but it's um, yeah, that dude. I don't think he's really done a whole lot, but um, in the cartoon, he's he's very you know he's. Uh, He's kind of your typical kid, but he's also not in the same way. He, he's very unique and different. He's also, you know, he's got kind of a temper. <laughs> Doesn't take shit off of people, and I like that. Um, but yeah, uh, older the older brother is kind of, you know, the one that looks out for him. Um, tries to keep him out of trouble. And uh, again, it's narrated by him, which makes it unique and cool. Um, but yeah, just, you know, it's, it's your typical kid sitcom, you know, uh, each episode it's unique, you know, uh, it's kind of like leave it to beaver, you know, where they, they get in trouble, you know, one of their friends maybe tells them to do something or, you know, uh, some shit like that, but it, it's, it, it keeps you entertained, you know, it's not boring by any means. 
Some of the episodes probably are. I mean, I haven't seen them. I, I it's been a while since I've seen most of them. But I'd say for the most part, it's it's unique. You know, the plots are unique. Uh, and again, there's there is depth and substance to the show, even for a kids show. So that's really why I give this a thumbs up. Definitely watch it, guys, if you haven't seen it. Uh, they're on YouTube. I'm pretty sure every episode is on here. Uh, you can find a lot of stuff on YouTube, which is amazing. That's why I love YouTube. It's because, I mean, almost anything you can imagine is on here. As long as it's not like the movie selections aren't that great. But like as far as shows go, there's a lot of different shows on here, uh, which is amazing. But uh, if I had to rate Pete and Pete, man, I'd probably give it... Shoot, man, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 because it's really that great. And I plan on watching this show a lot more, uh, as well as some more from the 90s, just to get, you know, my fill of nostalgia. This will definitely be one that I watch more of. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.